right, so one of the many things you can do is uh, create or use Project Dog Wealth to create assets that will be used in another program, whether it's in a 2D image composition program, a video program, uh, or maybe a 3D program. And uh, one type of asset that is quite often um, requested or of interest is uh, things like uh, foliage or trees, bushes, grass, that sort of things. Uh, and there's a couple of presets, and so you can, you can paint them and you'll see stuff happening that may look like uh, some bushes or trees and the type of uh, assets that you may want to create. Um, but of course the question is, well, how do you get this out of here into an image with a transparent background? So you don't want to see it white opaque there, you want that to be transparent so that the only thing that's left is um, the, the, the branches, uh, maybe the trunk if it's a full tree, um, the leaves, the twigs, and maybe some flowers, whatever that particular particle preset has. And we also have the regular particle brushes uh, both in PD Howler and uh, PD Artist and also in PD Particles. So um, you can see for instance here if I if I use the regular brush uh, particles we have some presets here too for grass and other types of uh, foliage. And um, how do we get that to become a, an opaque piece of grass, a tuft or something like that, uh, but then transparent, turns transparent towards the edges here. Uh, and that's usually done simply by enabling the alpha, rendering into the alpha channel at the same time. Right? We don't do automatic uh, alpha blended uh, layers yet in this uh, version, so the way to do this is to, to draw with the alpha channel. And in the case of the particle brushes, um, you look at the style option, and you simply switch to line. If it is lines, you go to line plus alpha. If it is shrinking lines, you go to shrinking lines plus alpha. All right. So for instance, right now here we have lines. If I draw with alpha and I undo this and basically draw something like this, you now see that there is a uh, an alpha channel. You see the marching ants. Uh, the settings that you have on the selection here will indicate how you actually recognize it. You might not have the selection, the overlay, you might not have the marching ants either. You might not see that you have uh, a selection in effect. So you got to make sure that you get that feedback with maybe the <coughs> the uh, the purple colors for the parts that are not selected, uh, or you could uh, have the marching ants, or you could have them both, right? like I do have it here. And once you have that um, that selection, which is the grass and uh, all these twigs along the edges, that selection can be picked up directly as a custom brush. So you see that here you select it as brush. And at that point, if you turn off the particle settings here, it's still enabled, so make sure you turn it off. Now you see the preview. It's not a full opacity, so you'll want to change the opacity all the way to the max. And now you have that there. So you can, you can, paint, you can paint this. Um, it does have a bit of a blended color transition. You see how it's kind of a glowy whitish color because the background color after all was white and the alpha channel is transitioning from the opaque greenish color to the white uh, background and even though it's gradually disappearing in the coloration it's still showing that. That's something that we can fix usually. Uh, first of all we store that image, uh, that brush, you can see it here with the plaid pattern indicating transparency but we want to improve that glow, we want to get rid of that glow and usually you do that um, with something like, uh, let me see where we do that, um, boom, boom, boom. pre-multiply correction, um, you say, okay, what color did you have in the background, something like white, and then that will uh, correct it and get rid of that, that glow. So now as you paint it, you have just the grass the way it is, right? So again, let's let's do that uh, from scratch. Let's say you have one of the presets. Let's go load one of the presets from perhaps near the bottom, uh, something like this one here, the winter branches, and even change some of the parameters. Uh, maybe randomize this a little bit more. This randomize uh, there 0 0.5, so it's a little bit more erratic looking. And uh, this one is the shrinking lines example. Maybe we want them a little bit thicker first, so pen size can make them a little bit sturdier. Um, but then you have, um, and even the gain can go up a little bit, make them a little bit brighter. And uh, that, then we need to switch over to shrinking lines plus, or shrinking lines plus alpha. Right. So now you see the, uh, the selection 
on around this. So I'm going to clear the image. I'm going to clear the selection too. Control D will do that or get that from the menu. Clear the selection. And I'm going to go and I'll uh, do something like this here. Right? Or maybe I want a crown, some sort of a circle. Let me undo, undo. There you go. Let's go something like this. You want to make sure you don't hit the edges here so that it's not cutting it off a little bit too early. But at this point, you have um, an object uh, with transparency on the outside, where the pink is showing, and opacity on the inside, and of course, some sort of a transition from opaque to transparent along those very thin branches. And you can pick this up as a custom brush, and you can turn off the particles drawing and there you go and you're still on opacity make sure it's fully opaque so you can really see how it's painted you'll probably need to fix that uh, glow you see the white glow here especially if you erase the background let's say if you erase to black and then paint this you can definitely even without painting you can see the white glow on that uh, transition uh, where it turns transparent on the thin parts so let's make sure we go back to brush pre-multiply correction and make sure it's white on the color that we said we had in the background, right? At the time when we picked this up. And, and then OK that. So now we have a much cleaner, let's go undo that. And now we have a much cleaner appearance and no more um, coloration or discoloration on those uh, thin edges. Um, let's see one more example. Let's store this one too, by the way. Uh, brush store. And oh yeah, and of course the whole purpose of this tutorial is to show you how you actually get that into another program. Well, once you have it here in the custom brush, uh, you don't have to paint it back into the image and save it from the image as a file. You can do that directly from the brush. right? So the custom image that's in your brush can be saved directly to any of those formats. Right, uh, it could be something like uh, a Targa with a uh, 32-bit. Uh, uh, so you have the alpha channel in there. It could be a bitmap BMP. It could be JPEG, PNG. I would recommend uh, a, a PNG. That's the most common uh, standard format. TIFF is pretty popular too. Um, and um, at that point, uh, let's see just one more example, and that's with the not with the particle brushes, but rather with the foliage brushes. So with the foliage brushes, you have similar capabilities. Let's go enable that. And so right now I have this one. And there's, there are many. If you look under the browse for media, the media browser here, there's uh, lots of categories of brushes. And there is uh, uh, the particles, uh, bristles, orbitals, and foliage. And so the foliage brushes are kind of similar to the particle brushes, but more elaborate. And they do contain, uh, let me pin this down here, let me pin this down here as well. Um, what you see here are a lot of presets, and the presets are also loadable down here on the load. And so these presets give you a starting point. And then, of course, you might want to uh, refine that and uh, perhaps adjust the parameters um, and in fact, one of one place where you can adjust them is the rules library for that particular setting. The rules library, uh, there's up to nine rules that define that entire uh, branch or tree or twig or you know the entire foliage is defined with a number of rules. At the end of each rule, it either ends or it continues. Uh, branches to the next one and so on. So there's splits, branching, even odd branching, and that sort of things. Lots of things to explore here, including the coloration, uh, the size, and other parameters of this. And really what we want to do is, well, how do we get this to be um, opaque, but against a transparent background? Again, we need to enable the alpha channel. So uh, what we have here is create alpha, check that box. And now if you draw this, it, after the drawing, it does its post-op, uh, it does some shading, uh, ambient occlusion, because this is done in 3D. It's, these tricks are actually going into three dimensions. Um, so let me go and draw one that I particularly like. Let's say this is the one. Uh, I'm going to go pick that up as a custom brush. Um, you select it as brush and turn off the foliage. There you go. Now we have the brush. Make sure it is fully opaque so we can see how opaque really it gets. And we still see the anti-aliasing, right? We can see the white glow on the anti-alias portion. See how the edges, there's a little bit of a whitish edge. That's the anti-aliasing giving us the transition to, um, to transparent, but also to that white color that's in the background. So we need to correct that. We need to go to brush menu, 
pre-multiply correction make sure it is white as the background that's causing that uh, problem and okay that and so now we have it fixed so now we have a really good uh, asset that you can export and put it onto a PNG file uh, make sure we put it here under store and manage copy. We have a, a copy that we can use right away. Uh, and uh, of course, then go and uh, export it. Um, save it as a PNG file. And when you have it as a PNG file, you can load that into uh, your favorite 3D program. Perhaps put it into what we call a billboard polygon. Have it facing the camera or even have two or three of them uh, cross and uh, basically put a, a fairly complex looking uh, a piece of uh, foliage or tree or bush into the scene. Um, typically you do that in a game, typically you do that with the replicators so they actually have a whole bunch of them across the scene and uh, that's how you put this together uh, starting with simply drawing these assets with the foliage brushes and the particle brushes. So the key to that is to enabling the alpha because in the alpha channel is where the transparency actually is being recorded. Alright, I hope this helps. Uh, thanks very much and uh, we'll see you again soon.